Are you ready for a trip back to 1965? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive into the world of a classic Hollywood flick that's equal parts funny, shocking, and even a little sad. This movie boasts a plethora of roles, leaving you to ponder which one was your favorite. And let's not forget the star power here, there's a classic Hollywood actor waiting to steal your heart. But that's not all. There are plenty of amusing, surprising, and even touching moments waiting for you in this film. So, keep your eyes peeled because you won't want to miss a beat. After you've seen it all, we're dying to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience with this movie. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Back in the swinging 60s, there was this movie that stirred up some talk. Some folks loved its silly jokes and fun vibe, but others thought it was a bit shallow with its story and characters being over the top. Despite the mixed feelings, it left a big impression on how people saw things back then. After the movie came out, they made a TV show based on it. That made the main character even more popular. And it didn't stop there, they started selling toys, posters, and even made a comic book about it. It became a part of the culture, influencing how people dressed, and even what they dressed up as for Halloween. Even though not everyone thought it was a masterpiece when it came out, it sure made its mark on the world of entertainment. It mixed comedy with sci-fi in a way that stuck with people, making sure that the character would be remembered for a long time. David Sharp was honored with induction into the Hollywood Stuntman's Hall of Fame in 1980. Harvey Lembeck, a 1947 graduate of New York University, gained recognition for his comedic talent after starting his career as part of the Dancing Carols. He later specialized in military comedy and received acclaim for his performance in Stalag 17, a role he initially portrayed on stage. Frankie Avalon, known for his role in Greece, regards Beauty School Dropout as his most popular song, owing to the film's success and its accompanying soundtrack. These talented individuals contributed their skills to the film Dr. Goldfoot and The Bikini Machine, which remains a classic example of 1965 cinema. Life often surprises us with unexpected connections and coincidences. Take, for instance, the story of Vincent Price, Coral Brown, Annette Funicello, Roger Ebert, Harvey Lembeck, and Barbara Deutsch. Each of them played a role in the entertainment industry, leaving their own unique mark on the world. Vincent Price and Coral Brown shared a deep connection, as seen in Brown's burial accompanied by a Mozart Requiem Mass conducted by a full orchestra. Similarly, Annette Funicello and Roger Ebert, though from different worlds within entertainment, passed away within days of each other at the age of 70. Harvey Lembeck's ties to Barbara Deutsch added complexity to their relationship. Lembeck's memorable role in Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine showcased his comedic talent, while Price's versatile career spanned various genres, including horror. Despite their diverse paths, each left behind stories that continue to inspire. Their lives remind us of the unpredictable nature of existence and the connections we forge along the way. In contemplating their stories, we're prompted to reflect on our own journeys and the impact we hope to leave behind. It's not about the years we've lived, but the stories we've shared and the connections we've made that truly define us. Vincent Price, renowned for his role in the 1965 movie, attended the opening night of the Rocky Horror Picture Show in 1975. American International Pictures released The Ghost in the Invisible Bikini about six months later. Following that, they released Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs. Vincent Price's father was the president of a company that produced various confectionery items, including Price's baking powder, sold to Royal and Whitey in the 90s. In the world of movies, interesting stories often go beyond what we see on screen. For example, when certain actors pass away, their final resting places can be meaningful. Take Vincent Price, who starred in some spooky films. When he died, his ashes were scattered into the ocean along with his favorite hat. Another actor from the same movie took on a surprising new job after the film she became a weather presenter in Miami. Also, the car used in a famous chase scene looks a lot like one from a different movie, suggesting some shared ideas between them. These connections between actors, their lives after the movie, and even the cars used in films give us more to think about than just what happens on screen. Vincent Price, then 52, served as the visual inspiration for the original illustrations of the comic book Superhero Doctor Strange is Stephen Strange, created in 1963. Dwayne Hickman, the younger brother of actor Daryl Hickman, also appeared in the movie. Interestingly, Dwayne and Daryl had previously shared the screen in Captain Eddie. Furthermore, several cast members hailed from American International's Beach Party series films as the studio sought to expand into new territories. These elements combined to shape the unique landscape of the film, infusing it with a blend of talent and familiarity.
Vincent Price, known for his role in the 1965 movie, was close friends with Cassandra Peterson, who portrayed Elvera, Mistress of the Dark. The movie marked the first of two theatrical releases in the series. The Wild Weird World of Dr. Goldfoot, a made-for-TV special, preceded it, featuring musical sequences cut from the film. Dr. Goldfoot and the Girl Bombs followed in 1966. In the 1960s, Price and Peter Laura co-starred as crime-fighting antique dealers in the unsold pilot Collector's Item, American International's most expensive film up to that time, costing over $1 million, featured Harvey Limbeck, known for his role as a motorcycle thug in the dungeon, implicitly reprising his regular character from the Beach Party movies. Annette Funicello, mother of Gina Portman, Jack Hilaudi Jr., and Jason Hilaudi also appeared in the film. Lembeck played Eric Von Zipper, while Funicello took on a different role. In the mid-60s, a quirky film brought together a cast that included Frankie Avalon, Annette Funicello, and Vincent Price. Avalon, known for his roles in beach party films, led a family life off-screen, raising eight children with his wife. The names Frank, Bert, Avalon, Tony, Dina, Laura, Joseph, Nicholas, Catherine, and Carla chronicle the family journey. Annette Funicello, a familiar face from the same era, found her final resting place at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles after her passing. She chose cremation as her fate, and her ashes now rest in peace in the Hollywood Hills. Vincent Price, a legend in the horror genre, harbored an amusing superstition. His front door was adorned with a horseshoe, a crucifix, and a mezuzah, showcasing the actor's lighthearted approach to warding off ill fortune. These tidbits offer a glimpse into the personal lives of the stars connected by a peculiar film, showcasing that even beyond the silver screen, their stories held intriguing facets. In 2011, tragedy struck when a fire ravaged the home of a beloved actress, leaving her and her husband hospitalized. This incident deeply affected not only them, but also those who admired her work. It was a challenging time for both of them as they faced the aftermath of the fire's devastation. Interestingly, among the cast of a certain movie, there were three individuals who later became famous as Playboy Playmates. This added an extra layer of interest to the film's story, showing how different paths unfolded for its cast members after filming ended. Moreover, a well-known figure in cinema ventured into a new venture during the 1970s by starting his own mail-order book club, specializing in mystery and detective novels. This showed his diverse talents and his love for literature beyond acting. Reflecting on these stories gives us a peek into the lives of those involved with the movie, revealing the various journeys they took afterward. Each person's path, whether marked by success or difficulty, contributes to the rich history of Hollywood. In essence, the story surrounding the movie goes beyond just what we see on screen, weaving together tales of resilience, fame, and creative exploration. It shows how cinema can leave a lasting impression, generating countless stories for future generations to enjoy.